Hi, I'm George Curran, and I'm bass trombonist of the New York Philharmonic. People ask me often what the difference between a bass trombone and tenor trombone are. Uh, basically the biggest difference is that the bass trombone has a slightly uh, wider tubing. Uh, there, it's not actually a longer instrument per se. The modern bass trombone actually has uh, an additional valve uh, compared to the tenor trombone that allows us to play a little bit lower to make the instrument actually cover into the tuba range. Sometimes I'll be playing in unison with the trombones and, and just supporting the voices there. Sometimes I'm playing with a tuba player and then uh, other times you have uh, a little bit of an independent solo voice. I originally was a euphonium player, which is sort of like a small tuba that you find in military bands and had been planning on doing something else with my life. I started college as an engineering major and decided on performing uh, mostly because I that was my real passion. So I switched to trombone and auditioned into grad school to see if I could get, uh, if I could continue with that. And things worked out. I'm really good friends with the whole brass section. So within the trombone section, uh, our associate principal trombone, uh, Colin Williams and I both played together in the Atlanta Symphony. And he actually was on the committee to pick me at, at my audition there. Acting principal horn, Richard Dean, was actually playing third horn in the Atlanta Symphony for 25 years or so, uh, and all of the six years that I was there. Our new principal trumpet, Chris Martin, also played in the Atlanta Symphony. All four of us actually played uh, in a brass quintet together in Colin Williams' wedding. I think that what makes the New York Philharmonic brass section so special is uh, the depth of player from the top to the bottom of each section. We are all very committed and uh, could be soloists at our instruments, but we choose to sing together in one voice. And, and that, I think, really comes across in all the performances. My wife Katie and I recently had a, a baby, uh, Kayla. She definitely has a good buzz on her lips. She may, she may someday want to play the trombone or another brass instrument. I'm happy to admit that I'm a, I'm a dork. And that I definitely like the, the sci-fi, and uh, I'm really excited for the, the Star Wars uh, series that we're gonna be doing coming up soon. Uh, as a brass player and uh, sci-fi nerd, uh, it's sort of, is a, it's almost like the holy grail of, uh, of, uh, of performances in some ways. Uh, it's a little bit more lighthearted than uh, our Mahler symphonies or Bruckner symphonies, but for, for me, I grew up listening to, the, to John Williams music, and really, it's very inspirational.